Hey everyone, welcome you all to Bioschool. Today we are going to discuss about one of the most important topic from genetics that is complementation test. This is very important. Please watch the video till the end. What is complementation test? Simple test provides information on gene function or you can say that the mutation associated with a phenotype are in same or in different genes for a particular phenotype always a genotype is associated complementation is a simple test that provide information about genes function that means the mutation associated with the phenotypes are they present in same genes or are present in different genes let me explain this with an example let's consider there are some tall plants are present and some dwarf plant or short plant dwarf plant that this phenotype it is because of some mutations right here i'm talking about the homozygous mutation mutation means the mutation is homozygous the results in the short or the dwarf plant are they present in same gene or in different gene that we can know by complementation test so this is a gene and b gene the gene a it causes a protein let's say is the triangular protein and b it causes for the circular protein then the both the genes they complement with each other and that results in tall plant let's take another example here the a is mutated and b is normal the gene b is normal so if the gene a is mutated so can it produce the triangular protein or not of course it cannot produce but the gene b it will produce the circle protein so what will be its result it will result in the short plant or dwarf plant because for the tall plant it need both the triangular protein and circle protein but here as the gene a is mutated that result in short plant similarly here the gene a is normal but the gene b is mutated okay if the gene a is normal it will produce the triangular protein but b is mutated so can it produce the circle protein no right so it will result in the short plant okay so for the production of tall plant it need triangular protein and circular protein so for making you understand is in a easy way i'm giving this example you can take any other example like a drosophila hope it is clear to you let's cross two mutated plant with b mutant another one is a is normal but b is mutant so in the offspring or in the f1 generation what will we get we'll get short plant or tall plant offspring they will inherit the wild type genes from the parents right a will produce triangle protein and triangular protein b will produce the protein which is circular protein then that protein that will result in the tall plant but parents are short because there is mutation of either a or the b gene but in f1 generation the offspring have tall plant right so what do you conclude we conclude that here complementation occurs because of the complementation occurs so the f1 generation will get the tall plant okay here complementation occurs if there is a complementation occurs that means mutations are present in different gene here you can see one mutation it is present in a gene and other in b gene if the mutation are present in two different genes then there is a complementation occurs and that result in normal phenotype in f1 generation or now we can say that the genes are belongs to different complementation group okay if mutation in different genes that means genes are belongs to different complementation group complementation occurs that mean mutation in different genes 
engines belong to different complementation group okay mutation in different genes genes belong to different complementation group okay let's see another example with the mutation that is in the same gene okay so here we have taken that both the a genes are mutated offspring will get one a gene and one b gene but a gene is mutated so can it produce the triangular protein no right it cannot produce the triangular protein as it is mutated but the gene b it will produce the circle protein okay but for the tall plant we need both the triangular protein and circle protein right but here is the a gene is mutated so it will result in short plant right so from this what you conclude here non complementation occur no complementation if complementation takes place as previous example then we will get the tall plant in if one generation right so here the mutation is in same genes okay no complementation that means mutation in same gene if mutation in the same gene then there is no complementation so the genes belongs to same complementation group okay genes belong to same complementation group this is very important just remember if mutation in different genes then this, there is complementation occur and genes belong to different complementation group okay if mutation in same gene that means there is no complementation and genes belongs to same complementation group okay you know complementation test it is used to know the if the mutation is in allelic genes or in non allelic genes allelic genes or non allelic genes remember if you will get a question that which test is used to know the mutation is in allelic gene or non allelic gene then the answer will be complementation test okay this is also known as cis trans test thank you all for joining me today hope this video will definitely help you a lot in upcoming video i will solve some questions from complementation test so till then keep learning and please do subscribe my channel and stay connected bye bye see you in my next video